Hello. Tuesday morning, afternoon, lunchtime, whatever. Um, going to. Tuesday morning. It's not really, is it? It's about yeah. two o'clock. No, it's not half one. Um, going to Costa to go meet James' friend. He's just come back from Poland. Um, and then we're gonna come back chill for a little bit, have some dinner later, and then head back to Hull. Yes. Because um, we do need to get back. I've got a dance to choreograph and an essay to write. So, God, it's so windy. <gasps> Thursday afternoon, my hair is a state. <laughs> I've just taken it out from a bun that I like slept in. It's just not good. Um, I've just had a shower to wash off the like excess fake tan, so I've got a little bit more colour today. Um, it's yeah, Thursday, so today is the day that we're all going out um, for one of my best friends' Siv's birthdays. Um, we're just going to a local nightclub, but still, it should be nice. Um, it is uh, half three. Um, I've literally, I've got back, I'm just showered and stuff. Um, I've got quite a little bit, a few like little bits and bobs to do. I've got to write a card to my grandparents, um, do a little bit of tidying up, just general admin -y things. Um, but I'm just absolutely starving. So I think it's going to be, Blue needs to be quiet. Um, all I've got is a pack of two to be ready to eat avocados from Lidl because it's my closest shop. I wonder if it's going to be a good one. You get so often like, hang on, yeah, so often you get ones that are just like, I don't know, just never just good. Like they're either overripe or just underripe, oh my god. That's, I think this is a good one. It's just like split on me. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Look at this. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good avocado. I'm going to leave it higher up and put you on my tea. But um, yeah, I mean it's so good for you. I only ever use half the avocado, and then I save the other half for the next day. Um, and I know it goes a bit brown, but I literally just scrape off the like brown stuff, and then eat what's like it's good underneath. So yes, and that's been also the world's worst at like I can if I crack an egg into something, I never get ever get shell in it. If I crack it straight into what I'm cooking, it just always messes up. So. Hmm, I am um, cracking it into these. My mum bought me like loads of these little cups and they're all like so cute because a lot of cooking uses not just like, especially if you're following like American recipes, it uses cups of stuff. So it's quite handy to have as well as just other stuff. Um, but yeah, I always have to crack it into them and then before I can put it in the water because I know it's just, it's just gonna mess up. Come on, come on. Yay! Alright, this 
is where the moment of truth. We shouldn't really be bothering that much. Okay. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? I don't even know if you can see that. Really. Oh, it's not moving around that. Mm. It's moving around quite a lot. An egg is an egg. It may not be perfect, but it's an egg. Just gotta eat it. That is what I call heaven on a plate. Oh, I've got a red chin from leaning. <laughs> um, I have just spent the last half an hour or so just going through some little bits and bobs. I have written a card to my grandparents. Um, it's actually a thank you card, my Christmas present, but I didn't get it till quite late, so that's why it's late. I'm not that awful. Um, I have also been using my weekly planner. I'm writing out a few bits and bobs I'm doing next week. So, because lectures start next week. Um, yeah, I feel like I just need to get more organised. Um, I bought that and I used it about three times last semester. So I need to try, I've written out two weeks. So I need to try it every two weeks to like fill it in. I've also been going through some like gym routines and stuff and writing it down. I've made this my little um, like fitness booklet so I can write out healthy recipes, gym routines, etc. Um, and this actually is so cute, it says everything is fine on it and it was sent for me by a lovely girl called Natasha. Um, she emailed me um, saying that she watched my videos and um, wanted to send me through something so I thought that was really really sweet. Um, I'll leave a link to her shop below so you can get one of these adorable little notebooks. Um, but yeah I basically just wrote out like um, what different routines to do so I've got I'm following the Carly Ruinas ones um chest and triceps abs back and biceps and then legs and bum um so it's a little routines to do for when I'm at the gym um I pretty much that's pretty much what I've been doing um I've also been listening to some music watching some YouTube videos blah blah blah, blah. it is now six o'clock and I think dinner's going to be about seven so I might start thinking about prepping that I might also do my hair as well just um, think about getting ready to go out later. I mean, it is only six and we're not going to actually probably leave until like midnight. Um, but yeah, I might as well get going. I'm just going to straighten my hair first to then make it easier to style when I curl it because I think I'm going to just do some like curls um, with my new Tresemme curling iron. Um, that's about it for the moment i might now i've done that i might just stick on some relaxing music read a bit of a book i've got all these up here there's loads of like cookbooks health books etc what ones i got the um millie mcintosh one made by millie mcintosh for christmas i've been reading that that's really good um i've also got eat pretty which um my brother gave me for my birthday last year yeah um, he's also bought me for Christmas, he bought me Paris Street Style and Breakfast at Tiffany's book. Breakfast at Tiffany's book is actually, like, really short. It's not a, it's not a big book. Um, so, maybe tomorrow, when I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear, I can just sit and just read, which will be nice. Um, I tidied up my room as well, and this poster had fallen down. So I stuck it back up. That's about it. Not really got much more to say. Oh, I've got to start my washing because I actually have something to wear tonight. <laughs> I am about to make my dinner now. I'm having lime, coriander, coconut, chicken. It's a Donald, I never know how to say his name, Donald Skian? Don, Don, Donald Skian, I think his name. Um, it's a really, really great recipe. It's so easy. It's literally, I just grate two, zest of two limes, chop up a good handful of coriander, and then I use coconut oil, but he says sunflower oil. But um, and then I put a good dollop of coconut oil in the pan um, and let that sort of pasty stuff that I create from that just like fry a little bit. And then I add in the whole, load, whole tin of coconut milk and then chopped up chicken breasts. Um, and you literally let that simmer and cook for like 10 minutes. Then you add in a bit of like sesame oil, soy sauce. I add a bit of brown sugar and a bit of fish sauce. Um, you literally put that all together and I have it with brown rice. It's so good, so tasty. It's so quick to make as well. So. It's a, it's a firm favourite of James and mine. I'm all ready and we're waiting for a few people. When my friend Ash is coming. Hey! Yeah, Ash is coming.